Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the next episode of the Wonder Broker Mode. Alright, so we are starting off this episode of the Wonder Real Crew Mode. The Wonder Real Crew Mode by commencing the Champions League clear out. Voted uh, in the top five players in terms of demand for uh, their sale were 93 Tots Casemiro, 89 Hamas Rodriguez, 92 Legend Paolo Maldini, 88 Zlatan Ibrahimovic, and 85 overall, second in form, Usmane Dembele. So 93 Tots Casemiro was uh, worth 500k when he checked on the transfer market last. Paolo Maldini was worth 450,000. Ibrahimovic was worth 125k. Hamas. So he had an 88 in form only. So obviously I had the potential footies 89 overall stats. So I simply upped the price by about 50k. Thought that'd be fairly realistic if he had have had his 89 footies card. And then second in form Usman Dembele 125k. So if you add that up. That goes to around. Okay, so it comes up to one one million three hundred fifty thousand coins to spend. So we got a bunch of good players. Let's go find some potential replacements. So the cheapest in terms of cost is Felipe Luis. So he is a ninety-three overall left back. For Atletico Madrid, going to be getting his team of the season version. That's right, Paul Pogba. Alright, so second player that we are going to be bringing back in, it is 90 Pogba. He's simply a beast in this game, five star skiller, a brilliant player. A little bit worse stats-wise than Casemiro, but Pogba is such a dominant player in this game. And the cheapest we were able to find for him is 506,000. Alright, so there we go. I have found Song Hyun Min, the 90 overall striker. He's probably the most overpowered player on the game, so Son Hyun Min. He is going to be insane for us. 311k, an absolute bargain and uh, yeah very pleased to get him alright so the final player we're gonna be picking up is Sergio Ramos the 91 overall version so his second in form so he's around 267 K so that's gonna leave us with around maybe 70,000 in our budget but at the same time I see it as a worthwhile uh, leaving of coins. Alright, so I am going to be going in terms of defense, I'm going to be upgrading our right back position. He's around 57,000 coins, so that's going to leave with just 13,000 coins. But that is right. 89 overall, Nelson Semedo is going to be coming into the team. He's a really good uh, right back in this game. An absolutely just beastly player. And uh, pretty much is a steal given the league he plays in. So thank you very much. And that's it. The Champions League clear out is complete. Five players out, five players in. And I am extremely pleased with who we have managed to get. Uh, you're now going to see those new players, and we shall get into the next games. And finally, after talking about it for like at least four or five episodes, the Champions League clear-out has occurred. That is right. So, as you know, five new players were brought in. So, Hyungmin Sun, Paul Pogba, Sergio Ramos, Nelson Semedo, and Marcelo. In addition, Jesus came in as the 85 overall SBC. So one thing I will mention is I made a decision in the end to go for Marcelo instead of Felipe Luis. Uh, Marcelo was actually 
I think around 15k more, but we still had around an extra 25 to 30k left in the budget, so should be fine. Alright, so first game of the episode, Champions League clear out occurred, and it's time to take our new team into the match versus Spurs. That is right, so thanks to EA's lovely scheduling, there is a one day break between games against Spurs and Chelsea, so in the next game I am going to be forced to feel a bit of a weakened side per se. Well, it's not really weak at all, but it's going to be weakened comparatively, so going to be a bit of an interesting match there, but focusing on this match, good match against Spurs, a solid team in the game. Alright, so this is the Spurs lineup, so they're playing a 4-2-3-1 again. This is so boring. You see they got Davies, Alderweireld, Vertonghen, Walker in the back line. They have Lamella, Dyer, Wanyama, and Nkudu. They have Eriksen and Kane as their two main up top players. And a uh, notable player on the bench, Deli Ali. Oh, what a lucky bounce! It's a failed shot, and Harry Kane knocks it in seven minutes in. We couldn't get a touch of the ball. Just crushing, honestly. Good tackle, but it was just perfect. Right to Kane. Oh, uh, this is legendary. Marcelo here. It's Marcelo. Youngman's son. Pele. Oh, it's Pele! It's a brilliant chip from Pele, and we managed to get ourselves on level terms. 40 minutes in, brilliant through ball. Pele does so well to break past the last defender. Thought I took too much of a heavy touch, but Pele manages to get there and dink it over the goalkeeper. Great goal, great finish from Pele. That's absolutely huge very pleased. It's always extremely difficult to play against legendary difficulty, so uh, good goal. Pele, oh Pele, oh Pele. Okay, so we've been lucky so far this half. Um, admittedly, it's been pretty darn even, so not gonna make any changes. Uh, but at the same time, this is a very hard-fought game, so. Oh no! <laughs> It's Vincent Jansen, 86 minutes in. How is he not offside? Oh, this game is a freaking joke. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, we've crumbled, we have crumbled. All right, so it's gonna be uh, sent in now. So it's gonna be Neymar. Neymar just looking for somebody. He's gonna hit over to Bale, Bale. Bail into Pele, Pele to Marcelo, Marcelo, Marcelo here. He's headed. Chance goal! It's Gareth Bale! And it's a great header! What a cross from Marcelo and Bale with a perfect finish there. Loris never stood a chance. And it's a huge last minute goal for us. Gareth Bale, brilliant from him. And yeah, we managed to establish the lead. I mean, the draw. And there we go. That's the end of the game. It's a 2-2 draw against Spurs. So not the greatest result, but a decent one given the circumstances. So, um, honestly, thoughts? Uh, it's good. I like the additions. It's going to take me some time to get used to them, though. But I have to admit, uh, I'm actually enjoying it a little bit more. It, it feels like it's more of a challenge. Second game of the episode, uh, hopefully we can respond with a better result. So this lineup switching to a 4 and 2 on 2 uh, Jesus going to be in the cam as he was for me in the uh, hot in the Heidenheim crew mode. I still miss the Heidenheim one. It was kind of a shame with that. It's just it was one of those things where it felt like it was getting a bit boring and then also just the viewer interest dropped so it just didn't make sense to continue on with it. So yeah, let's get into this match versus Chelsea. Uh, Want to get a good result. Believe we can get a good result and hopefully we can prove that we deserve to get a good result. Alright, so we're getting into the Premier League match versus Chelsea. That is right. So, uh, it's going to be a good challenge against them. Um, like I previously had mentioned, um, obviously we 
are going to have a bit of an issue with uh, stamina. However, um, Chelsea been surprisingly poor this season, only with uh, 48 points. So uh, definitely could be using of some improvement there. And yeah, uh, but I have very much liked the additions. Uh, Jesus was brilliant in, uh, in the previous game, and I think really with a little bit more of a chance to shine, I think he could do some real damage to the team. So talking about Chelsea, by the way, Diego Costa coming back. I am uh, very, very surprised. I would have liked for them to get Lorente, but if Costa can come back and provide a decent service for half a season, I am overjoyed. So yeah, 4-1-2-1-2. Uh, uh, a very strong team, hoping we can get a good result. And we have some good players on the bench. Uh, I picked them out specifically in case I need to replace another player too. So Chelsea's lineup, so they're running with a 5-2-3. Um, this is going to be so much fun. So they've got a couple of players actually, Marata, Rudiger. Like I said, I updated a few of their transfers, so this is going to be fun. Now it's uh, Willian on the counter. Okay, now it's Costa one on one with Sergio Ramos. Oh my no! Chelsea have just plundered us. Five in the back. They've counterattacked us brilliantly, and we've been made to pay. Simply put, we are way too open, and uh, we were punished severely by Chelsea. They got one friggin' chance. One chance. Uh, legendary is so frustrating. That'll do the trick. Yeah, this stamina, it literally is kind of torturous playing with this because, boy, oh boy, do like, just the players are so tired and it's just so tough to actually break down this Chelsea defense. It's like 5 2 3 on legendary, man. Shot finished in! Thibaut Courtois is on like freaking some sort of drug. Shot in, taken. Shot taken. Oh, 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 nine goal. Oh, holy crap, what a shot. Holy goodness gracious me, Roger nine goal on. Take a bow, son. Take a bow. Ramos wins the header, and nine goal on has no right to take that sort of shot. It's a stunner from Raja. It is an absolute stunner. And Thibaut Courtois stands no chance. Huge moment for us. Huge, 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 huge. It's Pogba, Pogba! No! Oh my goodness, we've drawn two games in a row. Oh, this episode has been horrific in terms of gameplay. And yet again, we just batter Chelsea, but we just can't get anything. So yeah, either way, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, hey, at least we got a bunch of new players. Just going to need to figure out how to play with them better. See you guys later. Peace!